Hey everyone, Tari Kandamiri here with a very special guest. Hey, Sam Puzo here, captain of the Orange Team this week. So Sam, I've got some fun questions and then some hard-hitting questions as we enter into week four. We've got the shades on, that tells me we gotta start with the fun ones. What food are you pickiest about eating? I would say probably sandwiches. Very specific on what I want, what type of bread, condiments, all that stuff. What's your go-to show that you can put on at any time? Oh, I guess like a friend's or kind of an office, something they like that background noise that I can tune in every so often and laugh. Ooh, who is the best dressed player that you drafted this week? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, I think Kerrigan Miller has really good style. She has that like LA swag, I think. Yes. You know what, I've started getting more and more into sneakers and I feel like that's me channeling the West Coast. Like, yeah. A little bit of like New York style, but West Coast like the jeans, the chill fits. Yeah. I'm with that. Kerrigan? Do you pronounce it caramel or caramel? Okay, I used to work at an ice cream store, mm -hmm. like when I was younger, and I go back and forth every single time. I, I say caramel or caramel, mm -hmm. depending on like, if I'm saying it quick, if I'm doing like, do you want a caramel topping or do you want a caramel cone? Mm -hmm. So I go back and forth. What AU sport would you play if you didn't play lacrosse? I would love to play basketball. <laughs> I'm not the best at basketball, but I find it the most fun. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I can't hit the threes. No. <laughs> Only defense. Teammate, right? Only defense, side yeah. to side. What is the biggest animal you could beat in a fight? Oh my goodness. Maybe like a golden doodle dog. <laughs> like <laughs> something really tiny. <laughs> Fair. You know what? I think golden doodles, like, they're underestimated. Yeah, they're a little scrappy. Yeah, they're they scrappy. can be frozen. Exactly, they're scrappiness. They can be ferocious. Would you rather rip a shot from outside that goes bar down or work your defender from X and make the goalie look silly with fakes? I think X. I think that showcases myself a little bit better. Yeah. I'm not an not outside defender. Yeah. It's all good. Play the B-roll. We, yeah. we got the highlights for both, so you don't have to worry about it. So now we're going to get into the juicy stuff going into week four. What's it like going into this final week with such a close race for that number one spot? You and Taylor are about six points apart from each other right now. Um, yeah, it's exciting to kind of be in that position and kind of have that race between the two of us. Um, but really, my focus this weekend is kind of just winning games. So if that gets me over the edge, great. If it doesn't, I still just want to come out this weekend um, on a positive note and a positive uh, game. How are you able to bring something new to week four? I think being able to bring this new team, new players, some girls I haven't played with this, this season. Mm -hmm. So to be able to play with them and kind of build that chemistry, I'm excited for this week four. How does this season compare to last season? Has there been an advantage to being a veteran in the system? Uh, you know, especially seeing you being a captain every single week. Yeah, I think coming in from last season, this season, I think a lot of us feel a little bit more experienced and kind of have that extra edge of just playing with each other a little bit longer, understanding the systems, understanding the rules. And what can we look forward to seeing from the Orange team this weekend? Um, a lot of excitement. I think we have a really good balanced team. So a lot of gritty defensive plays. We have really strong defense and then just really gritty um, team, team offense. Cool. Well, Sam, we are very excited to cheer you on for week four. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much.